No way. You subscribe for three months? I can't believe it. I'm here. I'm busy. I didn't realize the timer had gone down. <laughs> Oh jeez, I'm not ready. I've been fiddling with me sound alerts like everyone told me to. Oops. <laughs> Hang on a minute, peeps. I'll be there in just a second. Oh jeez, <laughs> I'm not ready. I haven't even unpacked from my last live stream yet. Oh jeez. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Just give me a minute because I just need to. I need to. <laughs> 
I just need to sort a couple of bits out. I've been adding loads of sound alerts. There's loads of new sound alerts. I've just been doing it now. I thought I had ages left. Time flies, doesn't it? One second. Jeez. One minute. Well, uh, can you see anything, by the way? Because on my screen, it's just got the uh, be right back months? screen. There we go. I can't believe it. There we go. Right, back one second. Got no music! Got no nothing! Just didn't even have my headphones on! Jeez, here we go. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in the hype train, not even here. Not even here in the hype train going on. Hello! Welcome, by the way, to Foxy Hotel. Super duper live stream. I've got loads of things open. I've got loads of stuff going on on my stream. I haven't started the stream timer. Mitch is gonna go crazy. Oh man, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, guys. I'm so happy about that beard stones as the blue cat eyes. Yeah, I've got a few now. Beard I don't know if anyone's stone. clicked any yet. I... <laughs> there we go, beard stone. <laughs> Dobbs has subscribed for three months, saying late again, Foxy lol. Sorry about that, mate. Derek Jett is subscribing for three months as well, with Amazon Prime saying thanks for all the streams. Syllidule there, cheering 100 bits. Thank you very much, peeps. Oh, sorry about that. Wow, how many? <laughs> Seven minutes in. I've missed like nearly two minutes of my video, mate. Don't even get me started on what we're going to be doing today. I have no idea. Lawful media oh there. Goodness. Subscribing for 11 months with Amazon 11 Prime. Months in a row. That is so close. <laughs> That's from Mitz. <laughs> I don't know whether you like any of these or not, but uh, I've added them anyway. Wow. Okay, so in the last live stream, we went to the end and did many end things, and literally, that, is the, I, that was the last time I've been on Truly Bedrock. I've not been on Truly Bedrock actually, since then. I've been a... <laughs> well, actually, yeah. Oh, commenters are back. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, I've been... Uh, <laughs> I've been a very busy fox doing very many busy things, and I have a couple of videos prepared. For, well, actually, I had a couple of videos prepared for tomorrow. I've got to delete them and start again because I've changed what I've done so much. Uh, I've been working on some scripts, basically, to make everybody's lives easier that runs uh, servers and and bedrock worlds for multiplayer ones and things like that. And, uh, yeah, I, I did them. I was really happy with them. And then I thought, I'm going to do a bit more. And I did even more. And now I'm really happy oh, with those. So I need to Someone redo the video. Someone has subscribed for six months. They must have plenty of diamonds. Thank you. Oh, my goodness me. We do have a puppy, many, although puppy many, cam is not many, pointing many, at the many, puppy many, at the minute. It's actually many, pointing many, at me, many. so don't ask for puppy cam yet, because I need to move that. <laughs> I see we're all enjoying the new buttons. Who was that one? Playing many. Oh, be the bearded swine. Dispatcher there, subscribing for six months. Amazing. Thank you very much, peeps. Thank you very much. Jeez. We'll get organised in a minute. We'll get sorted out. Many, many, many. I can imagine that one's going to get played a bit. I have no idea. I've just literally, because I saw I was running out of time, through a few... Hotel? Maybe change the subject? I should, I should have then. Yeah, I, um, I, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of the prices for those. I've just sort of... Um, just um, yeah, slapped them on because I ran out of time, really. So I know they cost bits, don't they? So if you don't have bits, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, right. We're getting sorted, slowly but surely. We've already had a face palm. Jeez. Got all them bits from the end we've got to sort out. I don't, what are we going to do today? I, I needed to live stream. I haven't boo -boo. live streamed for a while. <laughs> slight boo boo. I have mitts. I've made a slight boo boo. <laughs> That one that you're going on a bit one's just for you, Mitz. So <laughs> you can tell me when I'm going on a bit. I know you like to. Oh, oh, it's a bit spicy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at all this. Look at all this lovely junk we got from the end. Amazing. Amazing. Very good times. Good times was had by all. I needed sugar boxes, didn't I? That's the whole reason we went. Um, 
I don't. I can't remember what I needed them for. It, it's been a while, like I said, since I've played the good old uh, Trudy Bedrock. Mama Sams has cheered 24 bits. Thank you very much. And there's a few people throwing bits about, actually. So thank you for those. If you've thrown some bits about today, thank you very much. Well, every time I make a stream, we end up making a, naming a mob. So what mob are we naming today, says Elven Dragon? That's, that's, it's not ever so common that we do that, to be honest with you. It's, I don't think maybe it was a little bit, a little bit possibly going all high pitch because I'm not really sure. I got too many heads, mate. That's my problem. You got too many heads, Foxy No Town. That's your problem. That's why I just. Oh, jeez. Need to sound alert for that now. Too many heads. Too many heads, sound alert. Or too many mini blocks. That's your problem. It's not a problem, mate. It's a good thing. All these mini blocks. Mini, mini, mini. That would have been a perfect time for you to play the mini, mini, mini one, but uh, I see you've given up on those already. Bored. Bored already. Jeez. Lazy, you lot. Lazy. Oh, have I got anything else I can put in my... Oh, I've got some bricks for me end box. I've got an end box kicking about in here somewhere. There we go. Look. Fox's end box. Should go at the end, really, that one, shouldn't it? Oh, that was a good joke. So um, what are we doing then? Rubbish joke. So what are we doing then? <laughs> well, that one... You know how everybody... Like, every couple of minutes in stream, someone will come along new and go, What are you up to? What are we doing? <laughs> so that's just sort of me taking the mickey out of them, really. Because <laughs> I'm nice like that. <laughs> A very kind person taking the mickey out of people for free. You're welcome. Oh, I've got too many, too many end stuffs. Many, many, many. They're not, they're not playing along. Rubbish. Hmm. Flags. Stickers, as Mr. Onion calls them, I guess. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't, want, I don't really know what else to put in my... Oh, my, I've got some dragon heads here. Stick them in there. Slags join the game. Wonder how he's doing. Fix the carrot farm, says Elm and Dragon. There's nothing wrong with it. What? How can I fix something that works perfectly? Fix the carrot farm. I never heard of anything so ridiculous in my whole life. How can you fix perfection? That's like asking me to get a facelift. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why would you want that? Absolutely crazy. Right, we're getting we're getting sorted out. How are you guys doing anyway? Love like that your voice just blends into the stream lol says Beady Swine. Apart from when I talk over them like a moron, but yeah. I'll get what you're saying. I've got Mother 64 Wither Skull Heads in there. I've got Wither Skull Heads coming out the wazoo. Is wazoo family friendly, Mitz? I don't know. It's just a word I've heard on the telly and I assume it is, but I don't know. Let me know if it's not. You can give me a good talking to later on. Foxy Noto, you said wazoo in your stream several times. Wazoo, wazoo, wazoo. Lord, you're doing it again. Yeah, this wazoo sounds sound alert now. Wazoo, sound alert. Oh, I've got so many things. I don't, I don't, I genuinely don't know where to put all of these things. What else well, can they put in there? I don't really want to put Foxy Noto, in there. Maybe change the subject. Wow. Wow, blue cat eyes. Foxy, did you see the video about the Diamond Fairy? It's in VIP chat. No, I haven't, Lofty, actually. I've been a little bit distracted but with many, many, many completely unrelated, po fairly pointless and useless things, actually. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I haven't seen that at all. Sorry, mate. I'd have loved to have seen it, but I didn't. It's just how it is. It's just how it is, I'm afraid. Right, end box there, overflow box. Right, let's go find the toolbox. Not toolbox, the other box. And put all of those things in there. Well done on the hype train, by the way. It looks like good works was done, apparently. I, I can't actually see. It came off the screen too quick, mate. Well, the diamond fairy is real. Rubbish, Lofty. Rub I won't hear any of it. I know it's real. You told me. I believe every word you say. I know it's real. If you say it's real, it's definitely real. I don't think it's real, guys. I think she's I think she's losing it to be honest with you. Miss my message, why don't you, says Mitz. What have I missed now? I don't scroll up, jeez. Have you texted me? I have probably got it on like blocked or something, no, no. Mm. No, you haven't texted me. Why you why I you, LOL, you wrote? Um and then you wrote Oh, it I highlighted it. What? There are two. What are we doing? Oh no, they're the same. They're the same. I clicked the buttons too many times. I was panicking, Mitz. 
I was panicking because I was running out of time on the live. I, like I was late, basically. Don't tell anyone. But at, uh, yeah, I was, I was late for my live stream, and I, did, I pressed the wrong button, mitts, and I, asked, I added two. Now you're just pulling me up on these things, making me feel even worse than I already do. Thanks, mitts. Thanks very much. Show me up in front of everyone. I'm blaming you for all of this now. Your fault. Can't believe you just done that to me in front of, in front of all my friends as well. Jeez, jeez. Wow. Way to put me down. Appreciate it, mitts. How is your carrot farm going? Has it started to work? How it's meant to yet? I'm oh, still only getting one carrot a week. Lot. Well, one carrot a week seems a little bit speedy for me. I wouldn't want to wear the hoppers out underneath it too too much. So uh, I'd, I'll stick to my zero carrots per week at the moment. Thank you, and it's working perfectly, just uh, as intended. Perfect wow. villager carrot farm, run by perfect villagers doing perfect villager things. Because villagers, in my opinion, are perfect. I love villagers. I could play with them all day long. Hey villagers, let's go out and play with this cars and this gun and this axe that I've got. Come and see how shiny it is. Use your face to, to test the shininess of this axe. No, 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 that's just your... Oh dear, you did it on the sharp side, didn't you? Oh, oops a daisy Now you've got two heads. Well, technically, I like two halves of one. And you don't look very well, Mr. Villager. Don't be mean, says Ozzy. What? I have to edit a video now, bye, says Phantom Instinct. Now, self-promoting mitts, ban them. Ban them forever and ever. They've just said that they make videos, that's it, ban them. Self-promoting shall not be allowed anywhere, ever, anywhere near Foxy Notel. If you even mention video, that's it, you're fired. Don't do it. I mean it. I'm, I'm serious, mate. True story. Mitz has put it on slow mode. Tax Mitz. I think Foxy's playing Minecraft GTA. Hmm. Hmm. When it comes to villagers, I think there's uh, there is cause for that, or call for that, or whatever. I don't know. Word words are difficult and all that, mate. It's hard work being an hotel sometimes, you know. When you've got so many things to do, and so many things to do, and then you've got things to do on top of those things to do, and then what you do is you go, well, do you know what? I've got all these things to do, but instead of doing those things, I'm going to do something else, <laughs> and therefore I don't get any of the things I'm supposed to do done. And now I'm even further behind, but I'm ahead in a place I didn't even know I was going. It's crazy, crazy times. It's just how I roll, guys. Just how I roll. Look at all of this mini mini. If you, if only you could smelt these down into actual diamonds, that would be nice. It'd be very nice if you could do that. All of these smelly diamond things. Jeez. Who wants all of this smelly diamonds, eh? Stop clicking on itself. I want to click on the other bit. Slow mode's always on, says Diver Cat. Oh. Shut up. I don't know, I just work here. I don't press the buttons, mate. That's Mitz's job. If Mitz is making you slow, then you need to have a word with Mitz. Jeez. Not my fault. I just I said I saw a little icon I've never seen before that says slow mode. It never showed me that before. Okay, well, it probably has. I probably probably haven't noticed. <laughs> Don't live stream often enough to notice these things. Jeez. Ah, oh, my goodness me. Well, I've got, I'm showing you this exciting footage of me organising my ender chests. You're welcome. And uh, and you're there moaning at me about the fact that slow mode was already on. You know, this is just just seems unfair at this point. Bullies, all of you, bullies, I'm telling you. I'm just slow, man, says the real deal pick. Yeah, it's showing now, doesn't normally, says Mitz. Oh, I'm not completely daft then. It is It is something that's unusual and different. Excellent, good. I'm not completely lost the plot today then. It's good news. Excellent. Yes, many. Many, many excellent good newses. All right then. This is going to be my iron box, but because I ain't got loads of iron, what I'm going to do is I'm putting the uh, blue helmets in there as well. The dark blue with the diamond, yeah, the blue ones, yeah. I'll put these blue helmets in here, like that. There you go, look. Right, now we're just onto the weapons and armor. Very good. Nelly's behind me, literally snoring, because she's got her head stuck over the chair leg, and she can't breathe properly. But it doesn't wake her up, she just snores instead. What a beautiful dog. She's so gorgeous, puppy. Beautiful, gorgeous puppy that snores all the time. It doesn't get annoying at all, You're guys. Subscribe Never. subscribe for four months? I can't handle this. 
Big Chicken can't handle that somebody, I can't see it's on the other screen, Elric has subscribed for four months. Thank you very much for your four month subscription, Elric. Very much appreciated. And now because of you, I've got to reorganize this chest because I found an extra helmet. When a helmet creeps up on you and you wasn't expecting it, am I right, peeps? Am I right? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Those unwanted and unnecessary helmets. Many, 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 many shovels. Well, lots of shovels and many, many more shovels and another pickaxe and then just swords. Many, many swords. And look at all this junk. So many junks. I should just burn it all, really, shouldn't I? I don't need it. I'm not ever going to use any of it. I just, I feel like I can't get rid of it. Oh, it's just taking up, a, like, valuable sugar box space, although I do have many, many sugar boxes now. So I guess, I guess we'll keep it. I guess we'll keep it for now. We'll let it, we'll let it off for a bit. But woe be tied if it starts getting in my way and I need sugar boxes. It will all go in the bin, mate. Speaking of bins, good news, everyone. Where's puppy cam, says mate? Oh, hang on a moment. There you go. Oh, she's back in the bed now, look. She must have got the hint about snoring. There you go. Giant puppy cam. Oh, is this giant camera? Yeah, it's huge. The dog's still tiny. I've just got a giant camera. What I meant, moron. Absolute moron. You calling me a mush? Shh. Go to back. You go back to sleep, mate. What was I saying before? I was rudely interrupted before that. Oh, yeah, good news. Good news. We got, oh, this is good. You're gonna all be so excited. You're gonna be so excited with my news. You, it's gonna unbelievable news. It's gonna change all of our lives. I finally got recycle bins instead of recycle boxes at my house, which means I no longer have to go, oh, that one's made of metal. That one's made of cardboard. That one's made of glass. That one's made of plastic and sort them out into boxes that don't have lids on just for the, the wildlife to get in and the rain to get in and fill up so that when I take the, the recycle bins out on a Tuesday, I, it all goes down my leg and I get very wet with horrible, dirty recycling water. No, no, no. Now I have two. One's for paper and card and the other one is for everything else and they've got lids, the proper wheelie bins and you just chuck it all in and it goes away. It's amazing. Ah, fantastic. Over the moon. It's going to change all of our lives substantially. I, I'm conf confident of that. <laughs> Subscribe for four months. I can't handle this. Hanku, there subscribing for four months. Thank you very much, Hanku. Amazing job there, mate. But they keep going down on messages he doesn't see. Says Mill Mitz. What are you talking about? Very, very confusing. Twenty four thousand seven hundred. What? What? How many channel points have you got? Oh wow. Oh okay. Yeah, Mitz is cost spending all the channel points on getting my attention. <laughs> I, can I give you more? Can I, do I have control to be able to do that? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Let me see if I can give you spare channel points, Mitz. I don't know if I can. Probably not. It's an interesting idea. It gives me something to do. Well, you know, I'm live streaming. I don't really know what I'm doing. So uh, I'll fill it up with other things. I can change the rewards. I can customize the foxy coins. Um, I've got a followers list. It doesn't look like I can. I've got a rolls list. I don't think I can. I don't think I can dish them out. If they were Streamlabs points, which apparently they've got their own ones, I think I can then. But no, I, I don't think I can give you any points, Mitz. I'm sorry about that. Otherwise, you could have them all, mate. For all of the good works that you do on a regular basis. You've sent me over 999 messages, apparently, according to uh, Twitch. I'm just hovering over your name now. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, right, well, not interesting enough for me to do anything about it. King of the Railways has been serried for a minute with carrots. I really don't get why your carrot farm works in the test world, but not on TP. I tried building it myself in my world, and I do seem to get a lot less than in my test world. Maybe it's just a survival bug. There is absolutely a bug, King of the Railroad, and it's getting fixed in the next stable release of Minecraft, which is why I'm not touching it, because there is a bug to do with farmers not farming in certain circumstances, and I believe that bug is affecting me. So as much as we joke about it being a rubbish design and not working properly, we need to fix it, I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think it's all to do with that bug, and we'll find out once that update comes out, and then I'll find out that actually it's just a rubbish design and I need to completely re redesign. Actually, it. But we'll, we'll find that out together later on. Don't you actually me? B. 
Bailey's wine. <laughs> right. Anyway. What <laughs> what are we gonna do today? What are we short on? We went end raiding last time. Can you even remember what I said we were gonna do last time? It was end raiding that we had choices. <laughs> I'm so disorganised today. I was up till 3 o'clock in the morning last night doing coding, so I've, I've lost the plot today. I cannot believe it. Iggy Warwick subscribing for five months. Amazing. Thank you very much, Iggy Warwick. It's good news. And that's enough puppy cam for you lot. You're not having any more. Don't even, don't even ask for it. Unless you ask for it, then I'll give you some more. But don't even think about it. Ask for it. Go on, I like putting it on. Not Beardstone, no. No, no, don't bring him into this. What we do? I, I don't... I, we needed... I needed shulker boxes for something. I must have needed them for something. Probably my storage thing. But what was... Oh, yes, it was... I didn't put that there. Someone's been going around sticking me barrels in places, ain't they? Cheeky barrel stickers. Yeah, right, let's go and get some of those mini, later. mini shulker boxes then. And some of those chests. What did I do with those chests? I had loads of chests, didn't I? I got loads of chests with it. What did I do with those? Hmm. I get it all kinds of confused here, mate. Right. Let's go back to my house. Jeez. Storage area. Two different storage areas. This is a nightmare. A nightmare it is. I'm telling you, it's a nightmare. Drink invisibility potions and haunt slack. No, no, I don't. We don't do prankings, remember, on my, um, my channel. Not like that anyway. Bit, fortune Hotel, maybe change the subject. Wow. Wow. Thanks, bearded swine. I'll just shut up. I'll just shut up. We'll have a silent scream, shall we? Scream? It's a stream. Oh, shut up. Why have you always got to pull me up at everything in front of everyone all, all the time? This is my job. I'm a commenter. What do You'll commenters do? For you don't have to do that. Oh, really? really? I have to just tell you everything you do is wrong and you should have done done it differently or better. Or use Silent Whispers version. No, you don't have to do it say anything that. You can just enjoy enjoy watching. Oh. No, I said no, I just can't continue uh, telling you doing it all wrong. Fine. Fine, whatever. Wear the siren hat for five minutes, Danderhoff. Oh my goodness, me. My goodness, fine. Stupid siren hat. There you go. Got the silly siren hat on there. It looks just like me in real life, that one. Although this guy's got a few more teeth. Oh, you really not got many teeth, Fox in the I've got uh, hardly any. I think I've got one. One left, I think. The UK Granny Gamer subscribing for four months, saying it's only been four months time flying when you're having fun. It does indeed. Text message says, me, oh my goodness, myth. Now what? I'm trying to do a live stream here. Do you want any milk when I go shopping? Milk? You, you live like hundreds of miles away from me, myths. Oh, the puppy cam redemption's not there. Oh, I'll have to fix that, mate. Okay, I'll do it. One moment, please, while I fiddle with my stream again. Jeez. Thanks, Mitz. Always giving me jobs to do. Puppy cam, puppy cam. Oh, yes, it's turned off. There you go. It's on now. I don't know if it'll come on straight away or, or what. I don't know how it works. No way. You subscribe for three Somebody months? Somebody does. I can't believe it. I subscribe for three months, I can't believe it, and apparently neither can Big Chicken either. We're all in shock over at this end, if I'm if I'm being totally honest with you. Mini, 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 mini. Yes, mini. Oh, too many. Uh, throw that one on the floor. Yes, mini. Mini, 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 mini shulker boxes for my mini, 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 mini storages, yes. Even though I'm not even using half of all of these things yet. This wasn't the reason I needed shulker boxes. There was another reason, Seven and I minutes. can't remember what it was. Oh, I think me? I needed to that go like resource perfect. gathering. That Maybe I needed glass and stone. Probably those things. I think I needed. Yes, I think I needed many, many stones and many, many sands. I think that was what the, what the, the yes, yes, definitely what the issue was. So that's what we should probably do in this live stream. Then is go and get some sand again. We like doing sand gathering live streams, don't we? It's what Foxy No Tails do best. Well, actually, don't even think about it. You don't do a great deal, but oh, shut up! That silent whistle. No. Mm -hmm. Going to get angry in a minute, Mister Commenter Person. Don't lose your temper on your live stream, will you? Oh, shut up! Can someone please do a puppy cam? Says uh, 
Hug the wolf. It's not hug, it's Hugo. Oh, shut up. I can read, can I? Puppy scam subscription wear, says the bearded swine, as he subscribed for seven months. Thank you very much. Puppy cam. All right. It's a quick freebie. Um, there you go. You're going on well, a bit. As, as much as you know free. Maybe change the subject. Oh, my goodness me. Arguing argue with myself. Arguing with myself. Arguing with myself. Right. We are going to go and get many sands in this direction. There's two been two, two redemptions, Foxy you Hotel. Know, now what for? For Puppy Cam, has there already? Oh my goodness me. Good job you lot keep spamming the comments with all the things that I keep missing, because I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> my microphone's right in the way of the re redemptions. There we go, I've moved it a bit. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Jesse P saying, what are we up to? There's a, uh, a stream alert for that one now, Jesse. Is this a new village? What's this? I, I don't recognise this village. What's this thing? Is this a... Is, no. Really? So what are we doing then? Hmm. <laughs> what are we doing then? There we go. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to get some sand, Miss B. What did that cat just kill? That cat just kill a rabbit. Vicious, nasty cat. Horrible cat. Right, anyway, we don't need to be in there. Oh, it's gone on long enough. Oh, so, oh, Lofty, with her voice. It's still not a good battle, Lofty, bless you. When did she get so big? I know, six weeks. That's all it's been, six weeks. She's gone from tiny, weeny puppy to big, giant dog face. She's not quite big, giant dog face yet, but she's huge. I did post a picture on Twitter, actually, instead of Instagram this time. Hmm. Where did you... There's a Mesa over here. I'm very confused. This isn't the way I normally go. To... Oh, I think I've gone a little bit over to the uh, to the right. My de... Where's my desert gone? Your desert? Yes, my desert. I claimed it. Did you put a sign down? No. Shut up. Here it is. It's my desert. Yes. Excellent. I shall rid this desert of all of its sand... I think I've already removed most of it. We should remove more. More sand removing is required in order for us to progress with this game. I don't even think that sand was one of the things I needed. It was more stone. Definitely stone. I'm so short on stone again. I don't even think I need stone at a minute. I can't remember what I needed. <laughs> I'm not doing very good at being a, 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 a truly bedrock person at the minute, am I? She's starting to look like a dog and not a puppy, says Jesse. Fuck. Fired. Quick mitts. Banner. She's suggesting that puppy cam is fake news. No. Can't be having this. She's calling us out mitts. Saying that we're we're doing fake things just to use people's stream points to stop them having big chicken and Mr. Onion redemptions. When's that Mr. Onion stream guys coming soon? Look, I've been... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wonder if someday people will breed dogs to grow up slowly and stay puppies longer. Uh, that would be really nice. I'd like that. If you could just have a puppy forever. Although I think it would drive you crazy. Because puppies, are, as much as they're lovely and very cute, they're very mischievous. And they wee all over your floor. It's not ideal. Not ideal, mate. That's not what I said, though, says Jesse B. <laughs> That's what you were insinuating, Jesse B. I was reading between the lines. I know exactly what you mean. Calling me out there, bro. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. I'm going to change it to very cute dog cam. Yes. Now we'll get round your 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 red tape and your loopholes. I'll show you. <laughs> how are you doing anyway, Jesse? You all right at the minute? Are you okay? Are you feeling good? Is she in your room again? Says Michael Switch. Who, Jesse B? No. Not at the moment. RDP is telling Slack that. What? We'll have to call be called Dog Cam soon. No. Dog Cam sounds boring. We need to spice it up a bit. Make it really exciting. I'm doing lovely. Just tired. The girl is trying to crawl already. That's amazing. That's really good news. 
I see uh, she didn't want to be sharing that thing that she had in that photo you posted. <laughs> she's playing with it and then she's like, no, that's mine. You can't have it, mate. That was very cute. Puppy cam forever. Never. Speaking of which, I think you've had enough puppy cam. I'm turning it off. No more puppy cams until the next person that redeems puppy cam. And then there should be more. But until then, there should be no more. Not Christopher Walken says, I think Foxy's dog is one of those things you think in high school mass problems. If a dog doubles his size every day, in how many days? I think she just, just grows fast, mate. She's so possessive of that lion. It's her lion. Don't take it off her. You don't need it. You gotta get your own lion. That's hers. It's nice that she's got something to latch on to. It's lovely. Gotta have some and like a lion, ain't you? As long as it's not a real lion, that could be a problem. My baby's really attached to her lion. Oh yeah, where would you get it from? Is it from Ramsden's? No, I got it from uh, the Sahara actually. Oh. You mean Amazon? No. More puppy cam has been redeemed. You guys are obsessed. Obsessed to tell you. Puppy cam forever, bro. Bruh. K9 Cinema, says Farnsworth. Now that does sound exciting, but I think I would expect something a little bit more than a dog laid in its bed if I was paying for K9 Cinema. Maybe like doing acrobatics and tricks and perhaps standing under a like a like in the shadow of something with a silhouette of a cape flapping behind her and muttering some words and grumbling in a low voice something about being a bat puppy that's what i was expecting a dog is a male canine i can't tell it call it dog cam but the alternative's not ideal says rotated our face no not at all oh dear Hanku not popular with Streamlabs, mate. No, well, speaking of Hanku, Hanku, you need uh, me to press the buttons, mate. How do I find... There you go. Press the button. Press the button. There you go. Hanku, you have been promoted. Congratulations. I mean, if you would do acrobatics for us, I think no one would do puppy cam anymore. I could do acrobatics for you guys. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I will do one right now in a minute. Hang on a minute. I'll just do a quick back flip. Oh, easy. Uh, what else can I do for you? Foxy, who's online? Says Lil Bot. Uh, what? Like in the world? Oh, um, I don't. I don't have the list, mate. I think I uh, left it in the other room. Uh, there's quite a lot of people on it. There's several, several billion actually. So uh, probably take me quite a long time to read it out. Uh, you can check yourself though if you go to goo 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 dot com forward slash uh, chicken list and it shows you all of the people. That's a true story. Nelly was duly impressed with my backflip. Indeed. Indeed. How could she not be? That was a very nice backflip, this Silla Jewel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll go on my trapeze for you in a minute, if you like. I've got one set up, actually, just in this room. I've been practicing all day. It's what I've been really doing. I haven't been coding stri strips and useful... Strips? Scripts and useful things for you. I've actually been practicing the trapeze today. Many, many trapezes have been practiced. I'd, I would have put a tra trapeze redeem on, but I'm, I'm not 100% confident with it yet. But I reckon I'm pre getting pretty good. Getting pretty good. If you want to see that, just let me know. I'll happily do that for you. Hey! Hey! Making me angry, mate. And truly, Foxy, thank you for all the work on the server. It's really appreciated, said Blue Cat Eyes. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's kind of... What happens is... I find a technical challenge that I think I can do, but I know I can't really do. And then I spend many, many learning how to do it and figuring it out the old-fashioned, good old-fashioned hard way. And then until until I've done it. And if I don't do it, I'm not happy. So I've, I'm, ha I'm happy that I've done it. Does that make sense? D West, they're subscribing for four months. Amazing. Thank you very much for your subscription. I'll put it in the back with all the other ones. 
That's a strange, according to the web, goo-goo-goo.com doesn't exist. Ah, uh, you, you need to be on the right DNS, my friend. It's all, it's all, it's very restricted. The DNS is restricted at the, uh, at the ISP near the, um, near the server rack, majiggle, uh, lag, ping, other technical words, I don't know. She's called Nelly, Libbot. Little bot, apparently. I can't believe no one wants to see me do the trapeze. Waste of time practicing that one, wasn't it? Happy to do it, Foxy, says D West. Well, thank you very much. I use all your packs. Thank you for your crazy good work, mate, says Hugo the Wolf. You're welcome. As you subscribe, you subscribe for two for months. Two months in a row. Look, look. Beat you to it, big chicken. Amazing. Thank you very much, Hugo. Thanks, bro. It's you I don't know. You are streaming on Twitch. I from YouTube subscriber. Amazing, Thoby. Thank you very much. I don't know what it means, but I'm confident that it's a good thing. Now, that could be the, the fact that I'm tired and had too much caffeine, or your, it could be your message. One of the other th things is going on there. <laughs> Don't forget the .NET, says uh, TJ. Absolutely. I'm happy for his packs too. I made my own combination of texture packs, and it works perfectly. The Real Deal Pick says, Check the second channel. All the streams are posted there. I don't need to check it, mate. I do the streams. What are you telling me that for? I'm not telling that. I'm telling that. Sh fine. Dorsal Dawn says, I think we could actually see Nelly grow if Chuck did an AFK puppy cam time lapse. <laughs> That's a good idea. I don't think she'd stay still enough, though, uh, Dorsal. That's the problem. Problem with that one is she'd move about in the time lapse, be all wibbly wobbly, and make you feel sick trying to watch it. I don't think you'd be able to see how much she was growing either because she'd be all over the place. Maybe if we got some Velcro, right? Get some sticky back Velcro. We'll stick one side of the Velcro, the sticky back side, not the not the uh, like the ne needle side. We'll stick the sticky side to Nelly. We'll put the other piece of sticky side of the Velcro on the floor, right? And then we'll just stick Nelly to the floor so she can't move. And there, the time lapse will be perfect. It might be a little bit jiffly as she tries to like pull away from her being stuck on the floor spot, but. At least she won't be like disappearing off. Ideal. Okay. All right, Chuck. Why does Chuck always make a weird noise before he says okay? Does that play for anyone else? When you press Chuck, does it go oh okay? That was a good impression, wasn't it? it sounded just like him. No, says Hanko. Oh. No, says Lofty. Oh, it's just me it plays weird for then. It's like it stutters before he starts speaking. Which it kind of suits him because he is a robot, that after all. But uh, it just sounds weird. I'm going to grind sand too while watching Foxy dig sand, says Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
crazy to me the idea that people would just let anybody that's just watching the stream or watching their videos just into their world without knowing them or having any clue of who they are how old they are what their intentions are does, does that happen or are people just always hoping tj says finished season zero now watching season one amazing hope you enjoyed it i think it's a java thing because the owner has more control yeah, but even a, that's still a crazy thing to just let anybody just join your world. Why would you do that? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Toby, uh, you can't. Yeah, you can't. This is family friendly, mate. Please don't um, curse or swear in in my chat. Otherwise, you will get banned, mate. Jesse B says there are streamers that do play with viewers. Really, crazy, crazy times. I guess I'm just a bit too much of a control freak. Not letting anyone on my world, mate. It's not your world, it's truly bedrock. Oh, you know what I mean, jeez. Talking about my world, not truly bedrock. Shut up, zombie. Busy. Explaining why I'm mean, like Scrooge. Scrooge McFox is my name. Oh, I'm with you, I could never, says Jesse B. No. You know, all it takes is one person to just, just like cause loads of problems and that's it your world's dead and then you've got millions of admins to do and loads of people moaning about all the oh well we gotta have to roll back but i just spent 14 hours yesterday even though i was only online for 10 minutes building and i don't want it to all be undone can't we just leave the fact that my next door neighbor's base has been completely filled in with tnt and blown up to smithereens um yeah sure what does your neighbor think i don't know too much anxiety. Yeah, I'd just be too... It stressed me out too much just thinking what could go wrong. I don't need cactus, mate. I've got the farm for that. IBX Toy Cat does server experiments. Closest thing I know of. Yeah, I've seen that. Where he's literally basically just proving my point that if you open up your server to people, it's just going to get griefed within seconds. And it does. I've seen him do that. But that's not like he's not live streaming and going, hey, come and play along with me and enjoy the game that I'm playing. He's just proving to people that if you do that, then you'll just get griefed and your world ruined within minutes normally. <laughs> Says, um, I missed the beginning. What's all the sand for? I just like collecting it. I've got a sand collection. I've got a problem. I can't help it. I'm just addicted to sand. I, I don't actually know at this point. I'm um, just just doing some resource gathering. Sometimes when you play on a server like Truly Bedrock at least, you find yourself approaching a big project and you think, oh man, I've got no glass or I've got no concrete or I've got no stone. And all of a sudden, it makes you think, oh, do you know, I've got to now go and spend two or three hours going and getting all of those resources just so I can start this project. Because the worst thing is when you start a project and you run out of resources, you're, you're full flow and you're really excited with how it's going on. Maybe you're doing a time lapse and then all of a sudden your resources run out and you just think, oh man, now I've got to go and gather resources. It's going to break everything. Oh, I've got to, oh, it's just a pain. So using live streams as a way to basically top up the bank of the things that you use regularly is just a, it's a handy way to have a stream where you can chat a lot to your the people so that you're not well so that you're engaging really and so that you yeah you, you're killing two birds with one stone effectively i mean i could do a live stream where i go when i do building and things like that but then i'm not going to engage as much with the chat because i'll be concentrating on what i'm trying to do or I'll be worried about not engaging with the chat, so I won't do a very good job of building and I've got to knock it all down again after the live stream and start again. So it's just it's just one of those things, really. Are zero ticks allowed in TB, says Lil Bot. Uh, they are, but I think a lot of us did them last year and I think we've pretty much been and done that, so don't really see the point, to be honest. It's a lot more satisfying when you put together a farm that actually uses the game mechanics to generate tons and tons of resources really quickly than it is where you're just using a hack or a, a glitch in order to sort of cheat the game. I, I find personally anyway. Everybody's different, so don't. I'm not pull, calling anyone out there. If you're the sort of person that gets a kick out of doing those sorts of things and you know taking advantage of the game code, then absolutely fantastic. Go for it. 
but uh, I I just I don't know I get a much bigger sense of achievement figuring it out myself so I you know it's why it's so frustrating for me particularly when I get lots of comments saying why don't you do your farm like this or why don't you use so-and-so's design and it's not because I don't like that person who's designed this saying it's because I want to figure it out I really enjoy the process of going right I need this what's the best way I can go around getting it Oh, well, I know that this particular system works like this. I'm not really 100% sure on this system, so I'm going to do some testing in my test world and see if I can figure it out. And often doing things like that, you end up having a little bit of a breakthrough because you go, well, hang on a minute, I just figured out a really good way of doing this. Why isn't anyone else doing it that way? And often that can actually mean that you're the first person to discover it, like it was with my Guardian Farms, or it can mean that there's a better way of doing it and everyone's just copying the better way of doing it, which is happens more often, to be honest with you. But I still prefer it when I've achieved all of that myself and I've gone, hey, look, I've made this amazing farm all by myself. I didn't look at any tutorials. I didn't look at anyone else's things. I've just used the game as it was intended to do that to generate ridiculous numbers of items. And I just find that really rewarding. Have you ever suffocated in sand in real life, says Bringer? No, but I can't say that that's something I've done. What a crazy question. Have you? <laughs> hey, now then. Oi, clear, oi. I sleeped. You're not allowed to exist, mate. Jeez, now, now look, I'm going to put all that junk in my pockets. I don't want. Your fault, stupid zombies. Put me dead bushes in there, mate. Quantum Reverie says it's the difference between cooking from a recipe and coming up with your own dish. To a certain degree, yeah, if you were good at cooking, then why would you follow someone else's recipes? If you had a, a good handle on what how to cook, what goes with what, and you were you know, you had the resources and the ingredients to experiment with things until you got it right, then surely you could have a lot of fun doing that. But if cooking's not something you're interested in, then it's not then following a recipe is, you know, one of the easiest ways to go around getting a healthy and nutritious meal, or at least getting a meal that's not burnt that tastes half decent, you know? So it it's about particular interests. If you enjoy Minecraft, you enjoy playing the game, and that's what you're interested in. If you know a lot about the game, if you're knowledgeable with the mechanics and how things work, then I think you would probably yourself find things very rewarding figuring it out now i'm not saying it's not rewarding like when you see a, another youtuber put together a big farm and it's complex and you copy it and you do it it's like doing lego it's still exciting it's still rewarding and when you turn it on at the end when it works or it doesn't work and you've got to figure out why that's exciting and that's interesting but for me that's not quite as rewarding or as exciting as when i i'm creating my own lego if you like Although it's strange, because with LEGO, I'd much rather follow the instructions, but then I guess I'm probably not as confident with LEGO as I am with Minecraft. Which sounds crazy, because they're just blocks. Elven Dragon says, Same, I like designing and figuring out how farms work on my own. Lil Bot says, When you make a second world you get so many ideas early game and then me early mega farms and what to do I'm, I'm lost with that one i can't read a sentence that's got no full <laughs> no full stops or commas or punctuation in it it just doesn't make any sense <laughs> sorry i'm not calling you out for bad bad spelling or grammar or anything but it's just it's a very long sentence and there's there's no no way of easily reading it quickly while i'm streaming Hey Foxy, I can't stay and watch long, I just want to say hi. Will you be posting this stream onto Foxy too, bro? I normally do, unless I've said something that I'm not particularly happy about, and I don't really want people picking up, then I will, uh, I <laughs> then generally speaking, they go they go on Foxy too. Or if something happens in the stream that's not appropriate, rather than trying to edit the video and get take it out, I just don't upload no, it. God. But that's only happened two or three times. No, God, please, no, no, no! No! Why are we saying no? What are we saying no for? Puppy Cam says Mitz. My son is at the age he wants to follow the Lego instructions on his own instead of helping 
helping me do it. I like putting his sets together. I know, I, when Jack started doing his own Lego, <laughs> I'd go in his room and be like, do you want help? Do you want help with that Lego? No, I've got it, Dad. Oh, are you sure? Yep. Yeah. But, I, but, I, <laughs> but I like Lego as well. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played. I haven't done any Lego from the instructions for ages. Oliver's only just started getting into Lego, so I suppose now this Christmas probably actually get him a few Lego sets, which will be good. We can do those. But we got such a ridiculous amount of Lego. It's ri it's such a shame. Like, I've got Lego from from when my uncle was a kid. I've got all the Lego I got from when I was a kid. I got the Lego that my brother had when he was a kid, and I've got like all of Jack's Lego as well now. So we've got two, no, three huge storage boxes full of Lego. We don't have any of the instructions. and Oh, we do have some instructions, but the Legos, there's that much of it, and it's that sort of just chucked into all of these boxes willy-nilly. There's no way that we'd ever be able to, you'd have to spend a month just trying to sift all, through all the pieces to get the, the right pieces for the instructions, so you can't build any of the stuff again. So we don't need any more Lego, but the fun is buying the set and building the set. And you build, build a set, it sits on your kid's mantelpiece for 10 minutes, and then it ends up in the Lego box, crushed up with everything else. <laughs> And then getting ripped up for parts when you decide it's raining outside and you're going to just build some Lego cars instead of uh, doing anything outside with the kids. See, I even need reminding, says Mitz. What? Jazz, Jazzno says that's the beginning of the end of them not needing you when they do the old Lego. Yeah. Need to build a Lego auto sorter, says Mike on Switch. I do. When you make it... Oh, there we go again. When you make a second world, you get so many ideas early game. For example, there we go. Look, commas make reading sentences easy. Early mega farms and do what to do next. So people who stick to one world don't know what to do. Ne oh my goodness me. I'd... Yeah, I agree. 100% mate. Our Lego storing system is leave it all of them on the floor for me to step, up, step on, says Drammy. No, I can't do that. It hurts your feet. We did have it all, uh, quite a lot of it out and about until uh, we got Nelly, but I didn't want to give her any, you know, small pieces to chew and choke on. She already finds lots of bits of plastic to chew and eat. I have to keep I thought, permanently pulling bits of, and in the garden. I don't know how she does it. She'll go off in the garden, and she'll she'll disappear into one of the bushes, and she'll come back out with like an old like bottle that should have been recycled months and months ago. How do you keep finding this stuff? And it's because, again, going back to what I said earlier about having recycled bins now, the boxes, as soon as you got any wind, all of your recycling just flew out of the boxes and just ended up all over your garden. So she's now spent, like, slowly but surely discovering all these things, chewing them to bits, which means that I'm, I'm then following around the garden, picking up, like, two or three-year-old bits of scabby recycling. So, yeah, re really nice. Lovely. Lovely. Thanks, mate. My cats do the same thing. I find batteries and old pencils and pens everywhere. <laughs> wow. It's for Mal Yong. Mali Yong? Mal Jong? I don't know how to say your name. Sorry about that. Do golden carrots even have effective saturation on bedrock? It was just a flex for your gold supply. I thought saturation wasn't on bedrock. Yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah, it's exactly the same as Java Edition. They are the best food in the game by far i'll tell you what since i've been using golden carrots i hardly have to eat at all compared to normal apart from when them stupid husks come and make you hungry and your saturation goes down but yeah i've i'm my food is lasting me so long now bear in mind my carrot farm hasn't worked since the first hour of it running so i'm still using those carrots and i've still got loads of them left and i only had i didn't even have a full chest with the carrots that i turned into golden carrots maybe like I don't know, 15 or 16 stacks of carrots. I've still got probably a good nine or 10 stacks of those carrots left. If I was eating beef, the amount of time I spend playing on Truly Bedrock, I'd have gone through a shulker box of beef by now easily. Ma, Ma Yong, Ma Hong? I don't, I don't know how to spell, I, I'm sorry mate. Oh Ma. Sorry. Can you make a hand cam? It would be nice to see what you're doing while you're dying and derping. No. <laughs> no, that'd be weird. Why would any why would you want to look at my hand? Why would you want to look at my hand? 
Here you go, it's my hand. That's very exciting. That's what what I'm doing while I'm dying and derping is playing Minecraft, mate. I'm <laughs> moving a mouse around and pressing the keys on a keyboard. Doesn't get much more exciting than that. Speaking of cameras, you've reminded me dog cam has been on too long. I've already got the siren out on, Jez. Some idiot made me wear it for five minutes about an hour ago, and I forgot to take it off. And box stab as well there. <laughs> wow. What? Not long enough? It was five minutes. I just read the stream rede the redemption from Mitz was five minutes ago. You've had five minutes of puppy cam. How much do you want? How much do you think it's worth? I mean, it's 3,000 stream points. That's hardly anything at all. That's only like watching one of my streams. I don't know. How many stream points do you get per stream, Mitz? Somebody give me some maths. How many stream points do you get per hour of stream watching? It was never five minutes just now, says Alvin Drake. It says, it says six minutes ago now. Puppy cam redemption from Mitz six minutes ago. It says on my screen. Look, look, there. Oh, it's gone. There. Six minutes. Okay. Jeez, you don't believe me, you guys. Haven't actually ever looked, to be honest, says Mitz. Well, I need you to find out. I've got a burning desire to know that answer to that question that I'll forget about in a minute and you'll come back with me and tell me and you won't reference it, you'll just be like, 12! I'm a 12 what, mate? 12, the answer to that question you asked 20 minutes ago. What question? Oh, you have did it, oh, forget it. <laughs> Not enough for puppy cam, says Vulpix. Dispatcher there to the rescue. Redeeming puppy cam like a boss. Puppy cam has been dispatched, dispatcher. Is your job dispatching things, or is there a reason? I mean, is it? Is there another reason for your name? I just I find it very interesting. I'll get right on that. Runs and hides, submits. Wow. I reckon. I bet you get probably five hundred points per stream if you are not gifting something or bidding. Says Hanku. Yeah, I reckon about five hundred per stream. Like maybe two hundred and fifty an hour. Makes sense to me. Just look. Depends on sub and streak of watching, etc. Oh, okay. Uh. On so on average. <laughs> Can you give me an average? What's the next sound alert we need? Mitz's voice telling you to do things. I wish I could make a sound alert. I thought it used. I was like, oh, I had a good idea earlier. I'd make. I'd give Mitz loads and loads of stream points. And then make a really expensive one no one could afford apart from bits. But then I realised it doesn't cost stream points, it costs bits. I can't give away bits for free. And it turns out I can't give away stream points for free either. So all of that idea is completely useless. She did send me a text message though, but I don't know why I didn't play. I don't know. Love the puppy cam. I'm thankful to those who redeemed puppy cam, says Vulpix. Me too. I'm a 911 dispatcher. I run a 911 in Texas. Oh, nice. Amazing. Do you get bored of the Ghostbusters theme tune when it's like Halloween or Christmas? I bet you hear that a lot. I know it's not 911 related, but if it was me... I would probably play that just to annoy you. <laughs> King of the Railroad says the average is 10 points for five minutes. So for, yeah, so for two hours then, well, you're getting 600 an hour then. No, for f 10 points for five minutes. Oh, geez, I've got to do maths now. 20 times 200 an hour. So yeah, 400 a stream, roughly then. Amazing. Amazing. We never knew these things. It's all very exciting and interesting. It's not really. Yeah, it is. It's very exciting and interesting. Well, I don't find it particularly interesting. Well, I do. Well, good for you. Shout out. Oh, dispatcher. You've uh, you've been dispatched, it would seem, by Streamlabs. Didn't appreciate whatever it was you were trying to tell me there. I love it. Love it. 
Good. Amits waste 600 poison streams only to get your attention. Well, good job she watches a lot of streams. <laughs> I think she just needs to have Twitch on all day, just collecting points, just so, so she's got enough in her pot. Oh, no, because it's got to be my streams, isn't it? Do you get them on rewatches, on the VODs? If you watch the VODs, do you get stream points for that, or do you only get them when you're watching live? Because if you get them on the rewatches, Mitch, you could just leave it on in the background, just my, my streams over and over again, the VODs, and just get yourself a load of stream points. <laughs> Math very hard, tell me about it. Yeah. I, I've been doing... Well, it's not really maths today. I've been doing difficult figuring things out. Oh, yeah, then get rid of this stupid... Um, oh, no, it's not been five minutes since that. Oh, yeah, it was eight minutes ago. Oh, they got two redemptions, so I need to wait for ten minutes. Right. Yeah. So I've been doing scripting, or make, basically writing programs for the last couple of days. And today... I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I could not get my head around how I would achieve it. And it's not for not understanding the code. It was just basically wrapping my head around a solution using programming code to achieve what I needed to achieve. And it just took me so many hours going over and over and over, round and round and round in circles, trying to fathom out what it was, how I was going to do it. And I tell you what, I do this every single time, but I don't learn. If you take a break, come away from it, go to bed, have a cup of tea, go and walk the dog, do something else. Within minutes, you've already got your solution because you think about it without all of the, the distractions of the screen in front of you and without the code that you're working on in front of you confusing you with what's already there. And it's like anything, you just take a little break from it and it makes life a whole lot easier. But I've been, I haven't been taking breaks from it. I never do. I sit and look at it for hours and hours on end until I can't see anymore. And then I, I just I have to have a break. And it's only after I've had a break that I, uh, I really make some serious progress. So I should have breaks more often, really. Slack back. Actually, I wanted to ask, do you know any good websites for learning code? I'm struggling. What? No. Uh, what I do is I... I what do I do YouTube tutorials for code are horrendous don't even bother they're a complete waste of time get yourself some uh, yeah just like Google online tutorials or try and fathom out something that you want to achieve and find a resource that will guide you through achieving it once you've got yourself to a point where you've kind of got your head around what you're like the really basic systems are and that's kind of where i am with it all then you know what you're looking for you've got a few buzzwords in your head you've got a few reference points so it makes googling what you're looking for a lot easier and then you find that there's actually the same sort of websites coming up every single time that you're googling something and you end up finding the one that suits you best and the one that suits you might not be the one that suits me there's a lot of different resources for these sorts of things um some of them are more suited to advanced users. Some of them are better for, for beginners. But I wouldn't know. I mean, I don't actually look at what the sites are because I'm just look, clicking on the pages and looking at it. I have no idea. I don't go to those websites and then search for the solution. I always just look on Google and then click on the links until I find one that kind of looks like it's doing what I need it to do. So sorry if that wasn't particularly helpful, but that's the way I do it. When that happens to me, I explain to a colleague, then usually work the answer out when I'm trying to explain it, says Mr. Yulab. If only I had a colleague, Mr. Yulab. Yeah, I used to do that when I used to work in an office. I'd, uh, I'd be working on something and I'd come across something stuck and, yeah, literally just talking through it with somebody else makes you go, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. I have all that. Often you can overcomplicate the uh, the problem in your head or overcomplicate the, what you think the solution needs to be and often it's a lot simpler than what you've uh, imagined it would be. Can you ask Slack Lizards if he's ever suffocated in sand in real life? No. <laughs> but you can next time he does a live stream or if you want to comment on one of his YouTube videos. No, I'm not going to bother, start bothering other members of the uh, Discord with questions from stream chat. Sorry. Especially from people that I don't know.
You can tell Mr. Onion or Big Chicken, lol, says Carlo. I don't think they would be ever so useful in with their replies to me, to be honest with you. Big Chicken probably look at me a little bit gone out, scratch his head and then go back to whatever he was doing, probably chasing his tail. And uh, Chuck, well, just look at me gormless gone out and then just say yeah or okay or no nothing. And Mr. Onion, well, no point in speaking to him. Just get some horrible remark. As soon as you start talking, he talks over you. For some, some, something mean, something nasty. Right then, peeps. It is that time in the chat where I want questions from you. Have you got any questions, either okay. Minecraft related or to do with Foxy No Tail or things going on on Truly Bedrock, things that you're interested in, things that you think I might have an opinion on? But whatever you do, don't ask me what my favourite anything is, because I'll just make... I'll just it will annoy me because I don't have favourites. So, questions that aren't, what's your favourite this, okay? And then send them my way. TJ highlighting a comment there saying, When I was an instructor, I used to tell my students, sometimes knowing the right question or how to just ask is just as important as knowing the answers. Absolutely, 100%, yes. If you don't, un if you don't know the question, finding the answer is very difficult. I couldn't agree with you more on that one. Moron? No, that's not what I said. I said more on. Yeah, moron. No, not what I'm saying. Why don't you call TJ a moron? I didn't. Call you a moron, TJ. Jeez. Yeah, you're getting as bad as Mr. Onion you are. Commenter. Blue Kai says, how often are you able to find the answer from other MC streamers? Or is, or is what you're doing so true? I'm not doing anything to do with... Um, streaming or videos so i never ever ever look on streaming platforms for answers i certainly hardly ever look on youtube for answers i find that when you look on youtube for a tutorial on anything chances are it's a really badly produced one that goes on way too long takes forever to actually get to the uh, the question that you've asked or, or even talking about the answers there's so much garbage and gobbledygook and by the time they get to explaining it you realize it's not actually the answer that for the question that you wanted anyway. So I, um, I probably doesn't sell YouTube very well to for me as a content creator, but I really struggle finding decent tutorials on YouTube. But most of the time, like I say, I'm not looking, I never ever look for farm tutorials on YouTube. Maybe redstone devices like redstone clocks and things like that, but I'm never ever looking for how do I do, how do I farm this particular thing in Minecraft because I just figure it out myself. What's the doggo's name, says HermitCraftFan48. It is Nelly. Is it possible to make a resource pack that does what Fancy Leaves does on Jabba? Uh, you mean with the, the sticky-outy bits at the side? I don't know. I'm really not sure how they've done that on Jabba Edition. I need to actually look into that because it was quite clever. Um, what I'm assuming they're doing is maybe having, like, using a data pack to create additional blocks around the leaves. Like, let's say that's your leaf block. I'm wondering if the data pack is then adding in like a, a grass texture onto like as a whole block around it like that, but it's only textured on certain sides. I don't know. I need to look at that because I can't understand how they can have a resource pack that has textures on the outside of the block without some weird hacky stuff going on. So don't know is the answer. How, anything that they have changed in Minecraft over the years that you really wish they would have left how it was? Uh, no, I, I often say, oh, I don't like this change or I don't like what they're planning on changing when they're in the process of changing it. But by the time that it's changed, I've generally sort of caught up to date with it. I'm up to speed with it. I'm, I get on board with it and it's all it's all good. Uh, so, yeah. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh. Okay. I've got too many sands, mate. Completely filled up everything with sand. It's time to go home. What's your view about Twitch no longer doing al alerts for small raids? Uh, I think that's probably a good thing, to be honest with you. Depends how small it is. But when you get an alert comes up on your screen, it says, uh, so-and-so has raided you with one viewer. It just, it's 
generally speaking, seems it's very much that person just trying to get a shout out on your stream. So I think that's a good thing. Maybe you should limit, like, make like 10, 10 or 15 be the lowest number. I don't know what the number is planning on being. How much of a handyman do you consider yourself? What kind of household repairs would you attempt yourself? And when would you choose a professional from Quantum Reveries? Well, that is a very interesting question, Quantum Reveries. Back in my youth, I would do everything myself. I've done a garage conversion myself. I've built a kitchen myself. I've done plumbing. I've done electrics. I've done the lot. But now I much prefer to get someone else to do it. I find doing it myself a waste of time. If you can afford to get someone else to do it, then I much prefer to do that. The problem when you do it yourself, even if you're quite good at what you've done, you're always aware of the little flaws that are in it and you never really feel like you've done 100% of a good job. When you get someone else to do it, you feel like the work has probably been done a lot better to a better standard and, uh, and therefore, yeah, you feel a little bit better about it. That's how I feel anyway. How do you feel about the 1.17s dispatcher? I'm really positive about it. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it looks too modded and this is too modded and that's too modded. But I, I, you know what? I think people say that every time there's an update to Minecraft. I'm really positive about it. I think it's going to be great. I think that there are going to be some massive bugs uh, that we're going to have to contend with because there's a huge... Oh, look, I already had loads of sand. There's a huge amount changing in the game. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the what they are adding to it i hope the bugs don't take away from that too much hopefully they'll be manageable and hopefully they'll be fixed quickly they've been pretty much on it the bedrock team for the last sort of six months or so when it's come to fixing bugs and registering them and so sorting problems and there's been a lot less bugs in the last few updates so uh yeah yeah i'm quietly confident that it's going to be a good one Foxy Coins, watch 5 minutes 10. Claim special bonus 50. What are you talking about, Mitz? Oh, jeez. I don't understand. What question are you answering? <laughs> <laughs> Worked out thanks to Dorsal. Thanks, Dorsal. Okay, so basically do lots of things to get extra points. Nixify says, I think Twitch should let the streamers set the limit. Smaller to mid-level streamers often support each other with raids that would get lost. Larger streams really need to, uh, may need to be able to toggle with a minimum under. Yeah, but yeah, I understand that. I don't think Twitch really considers you as a as a anybody until you hit certain numbers, which is a bit of a sad thing, really, but it's... I guess it's just the way it is. You, you've got to keep pushing at it to grow. I guess there's logic in that. If you're... Oh, let me go and fix my stuff first. If you're a small streamer, even though you may have been doing it for months and you're not, not growing particularly quickly, then it's frustrating. But from Twitch's point of view, you're not really adding anything to their service. You're probably costing them more money than they're generating from you, which is not... A great way of looking at it but they are a business at the end of the day once you start hitting the numbers that they're actually generating an income from like advertising and stuff like that then they're gonna you know give you more tools to be able to do what you need to do so there's that way of looking at it the other way of looking at it as well is <sighs> let's say you've got a friend that raids you with two people you want to say thank you to them. Well, it's still going to come up in your activity feed, I'm sure. But it's not really, you know, I don't think you need to be make a big song and dance about that because even though you might only have two people watching, you need to be realistic with yourself and just think, well, that's not very many people. And, you know, not many very people have come through. And as much as I want to say thank you for that, it's... You know, thank you for thinking about me and thank you for supporting me. It's Actually, for Twitch to have systems okay. in place just just for that would just be a little bit silly, I think. Actually. 
Mitt says it's a redemption. What's the redemption? Oh, yeah, Puppy Camp's been on way too long, by the way. What category of villager trades besides librarians do you find most useful and why? Zandevil, I hate villagers and I hate villager trades because the villagers, I've never, ever, ever had successful villagers that have successfully kept their trades and not died either by zombies or some magical zombies that spawn in full light inside of your village, even though it's in a house with doors that are all made of metal. You still get, yeah, I've never, ever, ever had a successful time with villagers. So I just don't enjoy doing anything with them anymore. So I don't know. I don't know because I don't actually know what their trades are because I refuse to work with them in terms of trading. Now, Slack actually wants to build a trading hall on Truly Bedrock between us both, which I will help him with. But I got no interest in actually using it for trading. I don't see the point. Uh, you can get mo all of the items that you get from villager trading from other means, and I much prefer to use other, other means. And I don't have haste. Someone's turned me beacon off, mate. It was you. Yep, it was. So there you go. Well, if you use so and so's tutorial, I don't care. I really, if, it, if anyone mentions villagers to me, I instantly just turn off. <laughs> Diver Cat is going to be tough on the smaller streamers. The shout outs and the raid help expand the follow account, but if the streamer doesn't see the raid, it doesn't happen. Why doesn't it happen? You still get the you're still gonna get the um if you get raided, whether or not you get the streamer that's been raided shouts it out. The raiders have still come along to your stream. They're still seeing what content you're putting out. Surely you want followers on your streams based on the content of what they're following rather than just following you for the sake of it. This is very much like YouTube subscribers. Lots, everybody thinks that having more subscribers on YouTube is the best thing. And it is to a certain extent because of bragging rights. You go, oh, I've got 10,000 subscribers, right? But it doesn't actually mean anything if no one's watching your videos. In fact, in a lot of circumstances, having a lot of subscribers on YouTube, but a low view count is very obvious to people that you are just begging for subscribers and that's all you're bothered about which is is becoming more and more un understood and twitch is exactly the same system if you've got loads of followers like i have i've got 6367 followers but only about a thousand of those are genuine the rest of them are all from follow bots which i absolutely despise and i hate it i hate having that many followers because i have no idea of the genuine number of people that have followed me because they enjoy following so if people are just following you because of a raid and they don't ever come back to watch your streams what's the point what's the point in having those followers it doesn't help you at all it doesn't make your channel seem any bigger and sure yeah once somebody's followed you and you go live it pings them and says hey you're this person you follow has gone live but if they're not interested in your content and they've only followed you because the they thought it was a nice thing to do or they were trying to support you if they're not watching your streams they're not supporting you they're doing the opposite so I think it's a good thing. I do genuinely do think it's a good thing. It's took me over six years to get where I am at the minute. Six years, I haven't piggybacked off anybody. I haven't spammed everybody for links and I haven't been in everyone's comments advertising my stuff or joining other people's discords and spamming stuff. I've done it all 100% completely and utterly naturally. And I'm really proud of where I've got to, but it has taken me an awfully long time. Yeah, sure, people are going to want to skip the skip through and do it faster than that, and fine. And there are ways of trying to achieve things going faster than that. But if you try and speed up a natural process, you're going to get unnatural results. And unnatural results are unstable, and they don't last very long. So you might get a million subscribers after just two years, but if you're only getting, you know, 500 views per video, none of those subscribers are actually helping you in any way whatsoever. So just consider what is support and what actually isn't support, I guess. Pay attention to Mitz, people are saying. Mitz says, he wouldn't see that anyway. Foxy, my free redemption, please. All right, Mitz, fine. There you go. It's the interaction that helps the streamer asks what they're doing. If the Raiders answer sounds interesting, I'll give them a look. Yeah, you don't need to have a, a shout out to the stream or the raid for people to know to see what you're doing. You should definitely be very proud putting out awesome content, awesome videos, add-ons, having fun while you're doing it, says Hanko. Thank you. I am very proud. I'm very proud of what I've achieved. I didn't get no help from no one apart from all you lot that help me out all the time. 
Apart from you, no one. King of the Railroad says, if anything, what you don't like about 1.17 and what's the one thing you like the most? I really don't like or see the point in the squid. Yeah, well, they don't actually, they haven't actually confirmed that's coming out in 1.17, although I can't see why it wouldn't. So I won't get your knickers in the twist about that squid. That's a that's a non-entity to me. Um, what's that? You know, that's that wasn't a confirmed feature. That's just like, oh, we're going to have a vote. Let's add three pointless things in and see what wins. The actual, the live stream that showed all of the amazing new things that are going to be added, that's what you need to be getting your knickers in the twist about if you don't like those things because they're what the developers are considering critical to the game going forward. The... I don't think there's anything I, I dislike about it. I'm a bit annoyed that the the archi not architecture archaeology stuff, where they were using the brush on the blocks to make the blocks shrink, they that's not permanent. Well, as soon as you stop brushing, the blocks will just disappear, which is a real shame. I was really hoping to get uh, dirt layers and gravel layers and sand layers. It's a real shame that that's not going to be a thing. Um, there's nothing in there that I I dislike. The thing I like the most, I don't know, probably the the new generation in the under, underground, I guess. I don't know. I'm looking forward to all of it. Alice says you're crazy. I can. I think that's a compliment, says Alice's mum. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I saw Bobby Cam twitch in her sleep. I'm I slain by cute. What? I'm just scrolling up the chat a little bit. Oh, Puppy is making noises. She's dreaming. She's going for a run, I think. You see her little legs going. The cave so excited says data. Hopefully they will keep the dirt layers. They did ask for community feedback and have brought back deconfirmed features. Deconfirmed features. What do you mean mean by that, Bringer? That doesn't make sense. There's that also deconfirmed isn't a word. FYI. Unconfirmed is a word. What did you use to make your skin? says the Red Panda. Same thing I use for everything. Photoshop. I can't afford Photoshop. Get something called GIMP instead then. It's like Photoshop, but for free. I don't have a PC. Well, I have no idea then. I wouldn't try and do graphic on design on my phone for any, but any money. Doing anything on your phone like that is a nightmare. I know loads of people do it and they do a really good job with it. I just don't, I can't do it. My big fat fingers on that little touch screen. It ain't working, mate. Nope. You will be able to keep copper at a certain age level, says the Real Deal Pick. That's true, yeah, they've confirmed that you'll be able to set it at whatever age level it is at and then, like, mine it and gather it and use it like that, which is a really, really, really handy, nifty thing, actually. Very good. And where am I not going to be out of range of this beacon? Am I going to be all right over here, do you think? It's a bit disappointing not be able to make the dirt layers with the brush, this is all picked. Yeah, it is a bit disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm sure if people scream and shout about it enough, they might consider adding it in, maybe. It would be so good if we could have dirt and sand and gravel layers. It'd be amazing. It makes sense for the, for those things as well, because like they're all things that in life you can get in a bag and like compost or like a bag of cement or a bag of gravel or a bag of dirt. You can just chuck it about and build it up in places. So it makes sense. You can't get a bag of... Well, I suppose you can get a bag of grass. <laughs> uh, not, yeah, we're not... Uh, mm, and uh, a bag of stone. Mm. Yeah, no, I think I think dirt, sand and uh, gravel would be would be fine. Stuff like Crown of Sin, they said, would not be in the game, but they brought it in later. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Disconfirm. Also not a word. Unconfirm. You want un in front of your words there, my friend. <laughs> there seems to be a grass carpet or something, though. Yeah, moss carpet. It's a moss. It's been confirmed it's called moss. It's basically a moss layer, but it's only going to be one layer thick, I think. You're not going to be able to use multiple layers, so it really is like a carpet, which is fine. 
Absolutely fine. I haven't got a problem with that. It'd be nice if you could have it a little bit thicker. But it'd be nice to be able to have moss carpet, I guess. Get in stone with friends, Foxy. Bundles of grass. Yes. I went out to pick up some grass so I could get stone with friends. Yes. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't think that's uh, quite what I was getting at there. Look forward to playing with the new Vibration Redstone. That is one of the things I think we're going to uh, have issues with on Bedrock Edition, to be honest with you. I've got a funny feeling that's not quite going to work as they've uh, intended on Bedrock Edition. I don't know why. Let's see. We'll see. I have to have a little bit more confidence in the... It's not the developers I don't have confidence in anymore. It's the actual system itself that it runs on. The more I learn about it, the more I realise how limiting it is. So, yeah... What new types of stone are you most excited? Well, there was one type that I didn't even notice. I did my all the new things coming in 1.17. There was one I completely missed, which looks very much like marble or something like that. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, I'm really excited about that stone that you're going to get down in the uh, the deep dark. It looks kind of like shale. I don't know what they're going to call it. And I'm really excited about the dripstone and the stalactites. I can't wait for those things. Why are we mining many, many stone? Because I need stone, mate. I don't have enough stone. So I'll go get some more. Moss, I think, looks more like grass than green wool. So I'm going to be better for lighting up grassy areas. Yeah, 100%. It's going to be really good for lighting up grassy areas. And it's also going to be really good for, like... I, I don't know. It's gone now. I'm out of the window. Oh, like uh, gardens. You know where you do striped grass rather than having to use concrete powder? It's going to look amazing. Or around the edges and stuff between that and your bushes. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I love it when they add stuff like that in. That's just a slight difference from the other blocks just to give you a bit more variation. It's amazing. Thanks, Mo Yang. You the bomb, mate. The bomb? People haven't said that since the 90s, mate. Oh, bit behind, sorry. The bomb. I'll give you the bomb in a minute. Okay. I like the bomb actually. Weirdo. You know. Right then. More stone. Yeah, I could dig out the ceiling, I guess. Hmm. Bones. Clear off, mate. Yeah, I think it's ceiling time. It's ceiling time. In fact, let's just do it the good old fashioned way and fall into lava. I've been watching you stare at Shulkers for the last few minutes. I didn't realise my stream flow has just assumed you were reading comments, says Hanko. Oh dear, Hanku. Hanko or Hanku? Which one is it? I don't know. I'll just say, well, whatever. Upside down Nelly. Raspberries on belly. You don't want to be blowing raspberries on her belly. You don't know where she's been. She's gross. Oh, look at all of this amazing stone I'm getting from the roof. Probably ought to go and fill in some of these lava lakes if I'm going to do this, really. Otherwise, I'm going to get very hot feet soon. But well, we'll see how we get on. Is there any lava behind me? No, there's a hole there, though. Look. Make a square that we know hasn't got lava inside of it, and then we, we can work on that area. How do you think they're going to make stalactites and stalagmites transportable? Well, when they fell from the ceiling, they dropped a stalactite item. So I guess they're going to be a little bit like sugarcane. That's how I think they're going to work. I think they're going to grow randomly per tick, like sugarcane, adding onto the stack. I think the top one is going to be, or the bottom one, depending on which way it's growing, is going to be slightly smaller. So you get that point effect. And uh, I think when it drops, I think you're going to get the stalactite item that you're going to be able to then place and it'll start growing again. So I basically, yeah, I think it's just going to be like slow growing um, sugarcane. Do you think they will add realms to the new PlayStation when it comes out? Now, the problem with uh, PlayStation is not Minecraft, Minecraft as such, although it is owned by Microsoft and I can't, I can't imagine they are not, they're making it particularly easy. But Sony have big issues when it comes to crossplay. Sony have restrictions on their uh, games and devices that don't allow them to 
They will allow certain crossplay now, but they won't allow anybody to log in with the Microsoft account through their network. They don't want people having like access to their Microsoft accounts through through their devices. They want to be in control of who has what accounts. And Mojang don't want people to be able to log into Minecraft Realms using PlayStation accounts. So basically, until Sony back down and say, "Oh yeah, we you know we we desperately need more people to play Minecraft on PlayStation," which I can't see why they would need to, to be honest with you. Um, then I think I don't think I think that issue is going to exist. Now, Mojang say they're working with Sony to try and enable this, which basically means they're putting offers on the table. They're they're looking at ways of compromising, but neither of them are going to back down on that for a very long time, I don't think, unless there's a real desperation from either party to do it. The thing with Microsoft is they're going very much the games of service, games for service route. Everything's going to be available on Game Pass anyway, so. The, you're not even going to need to buy Minecraft soon. You're going to be able to just play it via Game Pass. So there's going to be very little point in Microsoft doing anything that's going to cost them to get people through PlayStation. The other thing is PlayStation will obviously want a cut of the market um, marketplace prices and things like that, just like iOS do and Android do when you buy them from those. And I, I don't know, it's just a minefield. So I don't I wouldn't expect it anytime soon if I were you. I can log into my MS account on my PS4, says TJ. What in through my Minecraft? Easy way to do it is the Oh, we're talking about stalactites, stalamites. Puppy cam gone! Explain what you mean to be there, TJ. Minecraft is awesome on PS4 VR. Do you mean you logging into your Minecraft account on Minecraft? Or your Microsoft account using Minecraft on the PS4? Or do you mean Mist Hydrate? Well, I, I'm, I'm drinking all the time, guys. I'm always having a drink. I've got lots of drinks here. I'm waiting for TJ. Yep, on Minecraft. But that's to log into your to get your skin and things, yeah? It, like the sign in button. It's not giving you access to the Microsoft networks, is it, that Realms are running on? I don't know. It, 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 it's to do with data and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, it's something to do with accounts and data and Microsoft and Sony and being at loggerheads. Log in the PS4 Microsoft account. All your MS skins are there and stuff, plus servers. If you use something like Phantom on a PC, you can't use Phantom through the PlayStation 4, though, can you? There's no join server button. Is there? Oh, you mean to join like a LAN world or a friends world? Does that work on play PS4? I didn't think that worked either. No one talk about puppy, then puppy will never go to Smith. There's technical reasons anyway. Phantom fakes a land world. It works on PS4. Ah, okay. So you can use it on PS4. That's good to know. See, I don't use Minecraft on a console. So I only go from what other people have told me and what I've read previously in in uh, articles and things like that. So my knowledge is always secondhand and old on these things. But the la last I heard, Sony and Microsoft were at loggerheads over being able to join each other's servers. Oh, you see that message says Mitz. I see everything, Mitz. Just choose some things to ignore. Now, it was just unlucky. Lol, poor Mitz, says Jesse. Don't make her feel bad, but better. Jeez. On PS4, you send invite by Minecraft name, not PS4 account. I don't know. Maybe it's to do with like parties and stuff then? I don't know. Hey, look, someone just subscribed for two months in a row. Look, look. Jans Drew has subscribed for two months with Amazon Prime. 
Thank you very much. Puppy cam again. Oh, jeez. I see it, Carol. I see it. Have you any idea what you're going to make for Halloween build on TB? I don't always necessarily get involved in the uh, those sorts of things. Depends on what's going on and what time I've got. We're getting a little bit close to it now to be uh, to be thinking about it. I need to get cracking with that if I'm going to do something, but I don't have any plans. Slack and I did talk about a mini game that we were going to do, but finding time to record with Slack is has not been easy recently, particularly as this week I've literally spent all week doing coding. So even if Slack was available to to play with, I uh, I haven't been. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll think of something to do. Ethan said, don't be mean to Mitz, says Jesse B. Wow. Sticking up for Mitz. Good good luck. Good on you, Ethan. Good on you. El Paco says, say many, many, many. Oh, there you go, I just said it. There's a sound alert. You can you can say many, many, many. By for the for the cheap price of however many bits it costs. I haven't got any bits. Well, can't can't say it then. Sorry, don't play well with anyone, says the duck. Jan's crew cheering 40 bits. Thank you very much. Oh, Sony don't play with, well with anyone. They've started to get better at it, haven't they? They've started to do some cross-play stuff. But yeah, they, they were always quite restrictive of what they would uh, allow with things like that. They do want to like maintain everything within their own little ecosystem. I mean, just look at Spider-Man. Oh, what a ruckus all of that caused. Traz J says, I hope you join the Halloween fun, perhaps a surprise visit of Fox's enemy. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. I'm waiting for Spider-Man on Disney Plus still, lol. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that that doesn't happen. Many, 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 many. There you go. <laughs> Jack's dad played many, many, many. <laughs> what are you guys all doing for Halloween? Have you got plans? Not a lot you can do. I'm a bit disappointed this year. I've actually got Oliver who's going to be here with me on Halloween. And we've been saying for the last couple of years, I can't wait till it's our Halloween together so that we can go do some trick-or-treating. We're not going to be able to do that now. I don't think trick-or-treating is a good idea at all in the current circumstances. So, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do for Halloween. Cancelled this year, says Mitch. Yeah, needs to be. I don't know. Is that official? Have they actually officially cancelled it and said we're not allowed to do that? I hope they do. Because people will still do it. Be handing stuff between each other on doorsteps, passing around coronavirus left, right and centre. I don't celebrate Halloween, says the Red Panda. Fair enough. Most costumes have masks anyway. Well, the mas masks isn't everything. You can still pass it around by, you know, it being on things and touching things, which is why I suppose I wash your hands with antibacterial and anti antiviral stuff as often as you can. It's not just through the air. I mean, you've got to effectively get it ingested one way or another but I uh, you know if you touch let's say someone hands you some sweets that have been tainted with the coronavirus and you unwrap those sweets and you get it on your hand and then you put them in your mouth then you're going to get it not a good idea sharing things like that at this particular moment in time it's a very bad idea although Oliver will be alright now <laughs> Although I haven't talked about that uh, Hello, publicly, so let's think about it. Ranilus has subscribed for two months. Thank you very much for your subscription. Oh, and apparently, got another hype train rolling in. What? Two in one stream? Amazing. Mitz must have put it on really easy for everyone. I don't have any control over it, you. Shh, Mitz, it's all you. Oh, 
Alice's mum says, for Alice's birthday, we did an online party on Minecraft, invited her friends to play mini games we had all set up. That's really cool. That's a really good idea. Very nice, Alice's mum. <laughs> Many clapping. I don't know what we're clapping, but I, I appreciate it. I like a good <laughs> clap. I agree. <laughs> Who's, who was that? <laughs> who played that one? It hasn't come up with who played that one. Vulpix, I love Halloween. I plan to celebrate with the video games like Minecraft Animal Crossing. I also plan to buy myself candy. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Where's uh, where's my shovel gone? Oh my goodness, thank goodness for that. I thought it had broken for a second. Oh, panic. Little, little bit of panic. I did it lol, says Mitz. Wow. Wow, Mitz. Nixify says, I have a milestone birthday in December, sadly. My friend has already informed me that 2020 is a skip year and we'll do big triple bash next December. Yeah, yeah, I know a few people have been in that boat that were planning on going away for big birthdays and have ended up having to put it off till next year. But then the thing is, you don't necessarily know you're going to be able to go next year. They open up the airlines and they close them again and then they open up the things and then they close them again. And I'm glad. I just think they should just keep it all closed. Keep it all closed. Shut the whole system down. Who cares about the economy? You don't need economy anyway. Make everything free. <laughs> Work schedule has us missing May streams lately. We hope you've been doing well, says Reynolds. Oh, many, many streams? Or May streams? I was going to say it's October, mate. If you've been missing May streams, you're very late. Who long, long, how long it'll last? Well, who knows? It'll last a very long time if we don't take action and, and deal with it properly. If people could just keep ignoring it and pretending it doesn't exist and, and sticking to this, oh, it's all a hoax by the government rubbish, then, uh, yeah, it's never going to go away. But if people start taking it seriously and deal with it, dealing with it responsibly and properly, then it will uh, it'll be swift. It needs money anyway, says Red Panda. Exactly. If everything was free, no one would need money. Hey, whoa, silly Joe, you got me there. Got me. I thought I was going to get gotted by a creeper. But I was looking at the chat just after it played. And I see it was you. Is that thought process prevalent in the UK or is it mostly dumb Americans? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in the UK that believe it too. I think there's a lot of people all over the world that think it. But it doesn't help with things like Facebook that where it all spreads. All these stupid ideas and these, these posts that people spam around with their families and their friends claiming it's official information spreading absolute lies and nonsense it's the exact entire reason that i i just won't have anything to do with facebook it's completely and utterly off my system i haven't been on it for well over a year i i just it disgusts me all of that sort of stuff how people can latch onto anything they want to hear rather than actual facts and truth and information and spread it around like it's gospel oh it winds me up really winds me up it happens so much with just people you know, your family, friends, people you, you 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 used to respect and hang about with. And you see them posting this nonsense and it just makes you lose all respect for them. So yeah, I, I, no. no, I'm not going to get involved in that. But don't you have a Facebook page, Foxy Hotel? Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't post to it or look at it. If anyone posts to it, it's, uh, it's either Laura or Mitz, not me. I don't think it's even Mitz. Is it, Actually, do you do anything with Facebook, you know, Mitz? Jesse B says, Facebook is a toxic cesspool. It absolutely 100% is. It should be banned. If you have, when, I'm, when I rule the world, that'll be the first thing I get rid of. When they put me in charge of the old lot, I'm going to cover up all the holes so I don't keep falling down anymore. And then, I'm banning Facebook. So it's the second thing I'm going to do. Holes first, then Facebook. In that order. And then world peace. You're welcome. Vote for Foxy. Foxy No Tail. King of the World. 2021. 
Let's, let's get this thing trending on Facebook. Didn't hear what you said. It was very quiet. Sorry, says lol, says Mitz. <laughs> Is that your way of saying you don't agree with my uh, sentiments on, <laughs> on Facebook, Mitz? <laughs> and quietly putting your fingers in your ears and saying la 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 la. <laughs> I had to unfriend some of my old army buddy on Facebook, says uh, TJ. Yeah, Beard it's sad, star. isn't it? Beard it was that jazz drew. No, seriously, you didn't hear what you said. If I did or something. What? No, don't worry about it, Mitz. Just, ram just rambling on about my very, very passionate, strong dislike of Facebook. Nothing particularly interesting. You didn't miss much. Beardstone, he's here. No. He's sleeping. Beardstone. I remember that name. All social media reflects back to what you want to hear and your own views. Ah, but not many social media manage to spread such filth as much as Facebook does. At least Twitter like, actually announces, we've removed this post because it's absolute nonsense and people are spreading information that's false. Well, thank you, Twitter. You're actually doing something good for once. I know a lot of people hate Twitter as well. Um, personally, I haven't had any issues with Twitter, but I can understand why that would be a thing, particularly if you're, uh, you've got a... A much bigger following or if you're you're a bigger deal and you've got a lot of people following you i can understand that being a bit of a to toxic waste ground cesspool of many many grossness grossnesses but uh yeah i haven't found that affects way nicky warwick affects me too much at this particular moment in time so it's good what about facebook and twitter censoring scientists and doctors trying to share findings and treatment for covid uh, I think that I think they're absolutely right to censor anything that isn't um, isn't factually 100% fact because what will happen is these things that are ideas that people have found maybe work in a particular environment or under certain circumstances then get taken as fact just exactly what we've just been talking about by the general public and that can lead to all sorts of problems if the general public take that advice without th thoroughly reading into it properly or understanding it can maybe do something that was dangerous to their health or you know hurt themselves in some way or then start spreading information like oh so and so says that this is a cure for this and we should do that which might not necessarily be the truth and they're then you know people start buying products that aren't going to help them and yeah, I think it's a good thing that those sorts of things are censored. Until we've got absolute 100% hard facts, then I don't think people should be sharing information on those sorts of things. At the end of the day, those things can be shared in the right circles. Like, the scientists will have, like Discord, I guess, but Discord for scientists, places they can go and put papers out and other scientists can look at their data and verify it before it gets to the public eye. Twitter isn't a place where people, scientists should be dropping just random scientific information. It's not, it's not a good idea. The general public, no offense, I'm part of this as well, but we're all just too dumb, mate. We're a collective bunch of idiots and we take things out of context and we don't read the instructions and we, we hear whispers from other people and we hear hearsay and we believe it and then all of a sudden we've got completely the wrong end of the stick and um, people are dying. You're going on a bit, so. Foxy Hotel, maybe? Change yeah. the subject? Ah. <laughs> wow, mates. Don't you like me talking about that? <laughs> okay. Got, yeah, I, I understand bits. <laughs> Shutting up. Couple in Arizona took a fish tank cleaner after a certain someone talked about it's COVID cure. The husband died, says Nick Vide. Well, there you go. Remember that there was talk about people injecting Lysol, really? I like really asking if it would work. Yeah. 
Unless your doctor tells you it's a good idea, don't do it, mate. <laughs> okay. Look, I've got loads of stone as well. Didn't need any stone. Why do we go and get all this stone for? I don't even need it, mate. Just fill in time, I guess. Something to do on the live stream. We need to find tasks that I can do in live streams that isn't necessarily building. Maybe I, I need to build some like big projects that uh, that there's remedial tasks to do in it. We can do on live streams because I can't just do resource gathering every single time. I mean, I can't do what I'm doing over there on a live stream just because it's. I don't know what I'm doing. There'll be too much umming and ahhing, and I wouldn't want to make mistakes. So yeah, I need I need help. Yeah, I do. Ah, no, ender chest. Not where you live. Sneaky ender chest. Trying to jump in the chest there. I saw ya. You can just jump back out again, mate. A mini, mini, mini. Come in. So, do you know what I haven't heard in today's live stream? My favourite song. My favourite song hasn't been played once, and I've got to say, I'm very disappointed. I was really looking forward to hearing my favourite song in today's live stream, and it hasn't been played, and I think I think I might cry. If anyone would like to play my favourite song, you know you know what to do. You know where the buttons are. Oh, there we go. Ah, Iggy Warwick there, saving the day playing my favourite song in the whole world. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh. Best flute playing ever. It calms me on the inside. It just makes me happy. A smile. A, a warm glow fills my body as the, 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 the that flute tickles all of my audible senses. Amazing. <laughs> he won't beat me, says Blue Guys. <laughs> Does anyone else genuinely like that? <laughs> or is it just me? Am I just weird? I don't know why I like it. I just do. I love it. <laughs> Mitz. Uh, Syllagil says, Mitz, I can also click my name and not spam the chat with commands. Really? No, it's not possible. Oh, hang on a minute, what we got here? Nick Safari says, free speech has limits. You can't yell a fire in a crowded theatre without consequences. You can't go on about rubbish, cures of deadly diseases. Yeah, I, I think Mitz was right when we should shy away from this uh, discussion because uh, we're starting to get into territory where people have very strong opinions and uh, generally speaking, when people have strong opinions, there's often split opinions, which causes problems, especially if uh, certain people like myself would take side or give their opinion, then other people feel like they're not as important or not as welcome because they've got a different opinion. So when we get to stuff like this, it's time to back away and say, do you know what? It doesn't matter, peeps. We can all have our own opinions and we can all enjoy our own opinions and we can all just be tolerant of each other's opinions and understand that they might not necessarily fall in line with ours but they're okay. it's okay because if they're wrong they're, that's okay it doesn't affect you unless that person opinion is that they drive on the opposite side of the road to everybody else in which case their opinion does affect you quite strongly and you should definitely def definitely share your opinion ex incredibly strongly with that person and say look actually sir or madam you are driving on the wrong side of the road and i don't care that your opinion is what it is your opinion is wrong my friend and you need to shift your car over onto the other side of the road before i smash your face in just like yeah that. there you go you're welcome Alice's mum there with the face palm. <laughs> yes. Mini face palms. <laughs> Chips not crisps has been assigned. <laughs> Don't get me. Oh, I really want crisps now. I haven't got any. I've been really good this week not eating crisps and rubbish. I had a couple of chocolate biscuits earlier, but don't tell anyone. But uh, yeah. Oh, man. 
I just need some crisps. I love crisps. It's literally my favourite thing in the whole world. I love Chris so much. <laughs> I got a problem. I need some more. Oh man, I can imagine myself going over to Tesco's after this live stream to go get crisps. <laughs> Hello, Chris Tool. Two says Synergial. The entity's banned on Twitch too. Is entity's banned on Twitch? No, I guess not, says uh, Beth. I would love to hear Veggie Barbecue. I don't have a sound alert for that one. Have you ever built something with diorite being the main building block, says the duck? Uh, no, but it does go with certain things in certain ways. I've used it a lot for flooring, particularly the slabs and the polished slabs. But uh, no, I, I think because it's got such a... Uh, let's go have a look at it again while I ramble about the texture of di diorite. It's got quite a strong change in its texture. It's got quite a strong like contrast there's a lot going on there so in close proximity it does it just looks very noisy but once you get it on a big scale and you start mixing it in with other things it actually starts blending in nicely and looking at it from a distance as part of a bigger yeah bigger build it does look quite good so uh hmm yeah I never give up crisps says mitts i can't what's your favorite crisp mitts in fact Anybody that understands what crisps are, what's your favourite crisps? Please only tell me UK ones, because I don't understand the American ones. Ready salted, I guess, is Beth Smith Gaming. Ready salted? Yeah, but what type? Not just flavour, what type of crisps? It's all about the... For me, it's all about the type rather than the flavour. I do like... I mean, flavours make a difference. But I... It's the texture for me. The type of crisp is... Oh. Salt and vinegar, says Vulpix. Mitzkat, salt and vinegar. Lofty salt and vinegar. Syllogial salt and vinegar. Carol, salt and vinegar. Mike, says Lay's has a new one called Popper Balls. They're really good. Diver Cat, salt and vinegar. Lofty Walkers. Cheesy Doritos. Sensations. Yeah, the... Uh, the Thai sensation ones. The, oh, they're so good. Pringles, Jesse B. Yes. Pringles are amazing. Worcester sauce, says Millsney. I, can't, I don't know about that. I, my favourite at the minute, I'm really into kettle crisps. Uh, the the uh, balsamic sea salt and vinegar ones. And my all-time favourite crisps. The, well, there's two, actually. You don't have favourites? No, but... Uh, in fact, there's, <laughs> there's three. There's wheat crunches. <laughs> I love wheat crunches. Uh, squares, salt and vinegar squares and discos any flavour discos, I absolutely love discos, but you can only have a couple of packets of discos, the flavour is so strong on it, it just, it actually hurts your mouth after a while of eating discos <laughs> they're so good though Foxy's drooling says a video swan, I am oh man the ones I'm eating at the time says the dog, oh man you're eating at the minute Ah, oh! like jalapeno are my fave kettle jalapeno says Jesse my wife would love all, all of you salt and vinegar weirdos says Jack's dad, I really, I don't mind fla the flavours, the crazy flavours I don't like too much, I like a nice ready salted, I like a nice salt and vinegar I like a bit of prawn cocktail and roast chicken flavour and I like a little bit of steak flavour sometimes, Doritos I absolutely love the chilli heatwave Doritos but Doritos recently came out with a hot version of their original tangy cheese. And I thought, oh, it'll just be like the uh, the flaming hot, whatever the other normal ones are. I got a packet of those, the big packet. I sat in front of a film and I took one mouth <laughs> mouthful and I was on fire. Uh, I, I really like Doritos. I like spicy food as well. This, jeez, this was beyond spicy. So I had to get a little pot of mayo to dip them in so it wasn't too, too... Uh, I couldn't finish the bag. First bag of crisps I haven't been able to finish in one sitting. <laughs> steak flavoured chips, says Alice's mum. Yes. Yes, mini steak. Wow, this is a big topic, Chase is best, yeah. Spicy nacho, so yummy. Spicy anything is yes for me, yeah. I do like spicy. My one of my favourite food. You know our favourites. My favourite food types. Mexican food. I absolutely love Mexican food. It's very tasty. Did you see Pringles has a rotisserie chicken flavoured one? Uh, sweet and sour. No, cream and chives. Is it? 
uh, sour cream and chives, the best Pringles flavour, followed by ready salted. No, followed by salt and vinegar, followed by ready salted. Any other flavour, don't, don't bother. Home pot popcorn with hot sauce. I can't have popcorn anymore. You know the little bits of skin you get on the popcorn that come off the kernels? They end up un underneath my gums, in between my gums and my teeth, and it doesn't hurt, but it just gets really annoying. Every time I eat popcorn, it happens. So I'm, I'm really off eating popcorn, but I do love popcorn. Foxy loves chicken, says Sweet Dreams Buttershot. Oh, a nice roast, roast chicken flavour, Chris. Very tasty. Yes. I tried them. They're not spicy at all, says the Red Panda. Oh, they are. The one I had was. Maybe I got an extra spicy bag. Not the normal flaming hot Doritos. Uh, the chilli heatwave ones, but the the normal tangy cheese flaming hot ones. Ridiculous. Best Gamer says, I feel the same with popcorn. TJ says, pepperoni and jalapeno pizza. Oh, we're, no, we're not going down to pizzas. Split decisions on pizzas. You're all going to tell me that you don't like pineapple on pizzas. I'm going to get offended. <laughs> Zandel says I've gone so far down a carnivore diet rabbit hole I can no longer relate <laughs> Jesse Bean says lol we're all foodies yeah I miss Mr Duckshot it's been so long how is he is he okay since we just woke up I was really thinking about streaming on Duckshot the other day but I got too much stuff to do I've been there uh, I've been just started a game called Hades which is a little bit like a dungeon crawler which would be suitable for Duckshot um, but I'm not really, I don't know, I ain't really got time to get stuck into that at the minute. Next week I've got Oliver with me for a few days because it's half term, so I'm going to be all over the place again. Foxy likes pineapple, makes him even more great, says Silla Jewel. Yes, mini pineapples. I love pineapple. Right, peeps. I've been procrastinating for a while, waiting for that two hour mark to hit. We are now at two hours on the stream, so I'm afraid... It's time to say goodbye. Have you finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider? No, I only did that first one. I haven't done any more since then. I need to do more of that as well. I love that game as well. I really do want to play more of that. So I have to, I need to do that. And I need to, yeah, I just need to, I need to, I've got so many things to do. I've got a lot of pressure on me to start for really getting working on my um, map that I'm building. I need to do that. That's going to be a big chunk of time that's coming up uh, that I need to do. So we'll see. Thanks for the stream, Foxy, says Sweet Dreams Book Cup. Thank you. Thank you all for f watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider following if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out on YouTube as well. If your name is in the list, then, uh, yeah, thank you very much for all of your support and help. Right. Are we raiding? Are we rolling? We got Mr. Beardstone or Slack. Ooh, Mr. Beardstone's already got quite the number of people following. I think we should send everybody Slack's way. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's send a raid over to Slack and say goodbye. See you later, peeps. Have a lovely time. Say hello to Slack for me. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.